Hello. AI has been here for a while now. So how can we use it in Blender? Well, if you're a newbie that keeps on getting stuck after roadblock after roadblock because you're still learning the software, or if you're more advanced and you want to figure out how to quickly create rough sketches of your scene, well, I think ChatGPT is right for you. All right. First, you want to go to this website, openai.com. This is where you can create an account and log in. I've already created an account, so I can simply log in and hit ChatGPT. And now you're here. If you don't know, ChatGPT is an AI model that responds to any question or message that you have. But what makes it really cool is that it uses the previous messages that you sent as context when generating new messages. And you'll see why that's important later. So let's start with asking it something somewhat simple. Actually, let's make it kind of goofy. Let's ask it in Blender, how can I make a spear with a mohawk? I was trying to generate, yep. And yeah, it's giving me pretty good steps how to do it. So yeah, I'm not sure if there's any tutorials like how to give a sphere a mohawk, but uh, if you can ask it, ChatGPT will answer. So let's go ahead and try it. So now I open Blender and now I'm gonna follow the instructions step by step. So step two, delete everything. And then step three, add a sphere. UV sphere. I'm gonna rotate it on Y axis 90 degrees. And uh, it tells me to go to edit mode. So it's telling me to select the vertices, like box select or lasso select, to select a band of vertices on the top of the sphere where the mohawk will be placed. All right, so I'm gonna do lasso select like it recommended me. So I'm gonna position on top and I'm, I'm toggling W to go through uh, lasso select. I can tell by the icon here. And I'm just gonna select the vertices I want. So let's do here. Yeah, that's the ones I want. So let's see what it says me next. Extrude, press E to extrude. All right, so it's some simple. So E and yeah, looking good already. And now it's telling me to scale the Mohawk base, press S to scale and extrude vertices to make a Mohawk thinner at the base. Um. So that seems <laughs> that seems to be um see chat GPT isn't one hundred percent right one hundred percent of the time. So I think it's trying to tell me to scale it at the tip, which would be better. So let's try that. Let's go down on Y axis. I'm pressing Y, scale on the Y axis. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. And uh it's telling me I can adjust it by extruding again. And it's telling me I could just refine the shape. And of course I can like add colors and etc. But you get you get the idea. Alright, let's ask you something else. But this time I wanted to do the work for me. So let's say in Blender. Create a script of, let's say, 30 balls falling. And let's put it, uh, make it a rigid body sum. All right. 
So it's creating a script. And don't worry, you don't need to know how to code. So all you had to do is just copy it. And now we're going to return in Blender. All right, so let's start with a new scene. I'm going to um, select everything and delete it. And now that we have the script copied, I want to create a new tab. And you want to click this icon right here. Go to scripting, text editor, click it, and then press new. You can rename it, but since this is only an example, I'll just leave it as is. And now you just paste it right here. And now this button right here is the run script button. So if you press it, it would just do everything it tells it to do. So, uh, yeah, I have this scene set up. Let's see if it actually is a rigid body scene. Yeah. Yeah, and they're continuously moving. So yeah, it successfully did what I want, but I just don't want like a flat area of balls. I want the position of the spheres to be more random. So let's see if I can revise the script within ChatGPT. All right, let's ask it, can you give me a revised script? where the balls are, uh, say, randomly positioned. All right. And then explains what it changed. So yeah, let's see what this does. All right, so let's select everything and delete it and paste over this script. And hopefully we get the results they wanted. So let's run a script. And yes, that is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> and let's see if it's still a rigid body sim. Yep, that's pretty cool. Basically, you can ask Chad GPT to create a scene for you. And then you just paste the script and then there you have it. So yeah, ChatGPT is good for helping you learn Blender and it's good for automating some parts of a scene. So why don't you give it a chance?